Thanks, Art. Yeah, tracking the tropics because rain is on the way. We'll still make it through some sun filled days before we're tracking some wet weather for the weekend. We saw a beautiful blue sky today. This is a time lapse from our tip top grill. It doesn't look like there's much motion, but look at there. There's the sun dropping in the sky. I call this one as the world turns. Here's a live look from tip top grill right now. A clear sky and that clear sky is going to give way to some cooler temperatures. Temperatures right now sitting at 70 degrees. Our humidity levels are down and dew points are in the low 60s. Dew points, this number right here is the one that's going to make all the difference in the world over the next 24 hours, coupled with that light wind out of the northeast at around three miles per hour. We can already see that temperatures are starting to cool off nicely to our north. 64 in Hamilton, 63 in Coleman, low to mid 70s from Alabaster down towards Clanton. As mentioned before, the humidity is going to be on the lower side for the next 24 hours, and I stress that it's only going to be a day of comfort before you can see already the humidity starting to return slightly by the end of the day tomorrow and then we'll start traveling up towards that more muggy and oppressive level by the weekend. So let's savor the dry air and the sunshine. Lows tonight bottom out in the upper 50s to low 60s. We're back in the mid to upper 70s by 10 a.m. tomorrow on our way to near 90. Now the mercury will read 90 tomorrow in some spots, upper 80s, low 90s. But with that drier air, it's going to feel much better outside. So it may not feel like quite the scorcher. However, towards the end of the week, I'll change that narrative just a little bit. This is hard to believe. I don't show the national map of temperatures very often, but when I do, it's because places like Phoenix are still at 100 degrees, they're actually at 111. Wow, even at this hour of the night. So we are going to be tracking that heat. That bubble of heat is just parked over the west, but that's actually what's reinforcing our drier air. See, winds for us are out of the north, but by Saturday, we'll be tracking this area of low pressure, which will likely be our next name tropical system, and that's going to bring tropical moisture into the deep south. So through Monday, we are going to be tracking wet weather. The rainfall totals could be anywhere from six to nine inches along the coastline from New Orleans through Mobile Bay, and then South Alabama, maybe two to three inches of rain, and then Central Alabama through Monday, upwards of an inch possible. So lower rainfall amounts in North Alabama, but it's something that we're watching very closely. So if you have those beach plans, here's a quick breakdown. Tomorrow, not bad. Thursday, a beautiful day, mid 80s, but we are tracking that rainfall returning by Friday. It does look like it could be a bit of a messy weekend on the coast as you move through your Father's Day weekend. We'll continue monitoring the isolated thunderstorm potential through early next week. Lots to iron out with this, though. We're tracking the tropics and we're watching it closely. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast. Ashley, thank you. Coming up.